you, Gabby. Thank you so much for talking to Bayloric TV. <laughs> so, the loss to Bundy, I don't want you to elaborate on that. My biggest question to you, and I've watched you box, and you're a box of huge amount of talent, but I've always wondered, as a welterweight, whether you are actually a welterweight physically. I mean, you've got all the boxing skill in the world, right? Nobody can question that. But do you think that was part of the problem against Bundy? No, not really, no. Uh, at the end, it was me pushing, it was me catching him. I always set the pace at the end. Mm -hmm. Not at all. It really killed me to make 10 stones. Right. And you wouldn't get the performances out of me. Definitely. Right. Not a lot on me now, I feel. Right, because I look at you, it's just like... Yeah. So, there's, not, there's not a lot on me, really. The dragon got eight, 10 stone 8 this morning. Wow. The dragon got 8 pounds. Be a lot, really. So you, I've never seen you. In, it's the first time I've seen you in person. When I look at you now, I think, wow, maybe. I'm a lot taller than people. Can we get five nine, five ten? Yeah. So uh, not bigger than people. So I really think I am. Because to, to, to go back to when I was a lightweight, and I'm yeah. Not, really, I shouldn't have been a lightweight the last two years. Right. And I boxed a lightweight in a few tournaments. Every one of them gold or best box of the tournament. Right. I beat the world number two as an amateur at the Yeah. Really, I was a lightweight. Yeah. Now the fight you had against Denton Vassell, that was a fantastic performance. Uh, the way you stopped uh, and you threw the punch against Vassell, you showed that you had power at the weight as well. This fight against Bradley Skeet, what does Skeet bring to you in terms of um, a challenge? Uh, basically, he's very good. Very yeah. Good. Listen, not, no, he's, not, he's not as good as Bundu, no way. Right. But he's a good fighter. He's, uh, yeah. He does the basics very well. Right. As long as I do what I do really well, I'll be fine. Yep. Um, what do you feel you need to do to beat Bradley Skeet? Do you have to just do what Bradley Gavin normally does, or have you made any adjustments as a fighter to meet Bradley Skeet? To be honest, do what I do. We've yep. done a, bit, a little bit more. Not what I'm really going to say on here. Absolutely. But you'll, you'll see on Saturday. Yep. Uh, I really changed nothing because at the end of that, I'm 29. I changed him. He's not really going to work. Right. I added a few little things yep. that I normally do. Yep. I do really expect a big, big performance. Do, has the defeat to Bundu given you a kick up the backside, or has it been a uh, like a, a upsetting time for you? Kick up the backside, definitely. My trainer said it. He said he couldn't believe the way he got me back in the gym. Yep. Uh, so I was moaning a lot in the Bundu. I don't know why. Yeah. I was moaning a lot, and I uh, uh, just uh, always uh, I think now I'm just there, yeah, want to be there. I'm even asking to do this bit more, do that bit more. And that, but recently I haven't because the sessions have been that much more been good. So fight fans should expect to see Frankie Gavin at his very best against Bradley Skeet. Definitely. And do you have a message for Keith Thurman, Keith one time Thurman who fights Bundu? A good luck in your fight mate, I hope you do it. And uh, hopefully one day I'll get, I'll get back to that level and we'll, we'll get it on. Okay, that's Frankie Gavin. Thank you Frankie.